Today I'm going to show you how to create what's called a photo mosaic. A photo mosaic is a photo that's actually made up of smaller photos. This looks like uh, Old Main at the University of Finley, but if you zoom in on this picture, you'll see that it's actually made up of individual photos. In this case, it's students who are in the College of Education. A few years ago, we went to Disney and I took all of our photos from vacation and I put them together in the shape of Mickey Mouse, made a poster out of it. Now to do this whole process, you need three things. You have to have your main image, then you have to have a folder with a lot of photos, and finally, you have to have a program that will do, that will do kind of magic to turn your pictures into the shape you want. I'm using a program called Andrea Mosaic. It's a free program. I have a link here at the bottom, bit.ly slash lbmosaic. You can download it and install it on your computer. For a demo, I'm going to take uh, 365 photos that I created when I did a year-long project where I took a photo every day. And I took all of these photos with this camera. So what I'm going to do is have those individual photos go together to form the shape of my camera. When I'm finished, it's going to look like this. So I'm going to open Andrea Mosaic, and it very uh, simply points out the three steps required to go through the whole process. The first step is to identify your main image. So you click on the plus, add your picture, so I've added my, my camera. The second step is to identify your folder of pictures. So you click on this icon, it brings up a dialog box where you can add a folder. I'm going to point it to my folder of uh, 365 photos. And then when I'm finished with that, I'm going to save this list. This will let me create a file that can be used in subsequent photo mosaics. Once I save this, it generates uh, all of the photos. I click OK and I'm ready to create my mosaic. So the third and final step is to make that mosaic. It takes, uh, more complicated pictures take longer. This one took about 10 seconds and it generated this mosaic. Now this one looks pretty cool, but if I zoom in on a small part of my photo, you can see some photos are used over and over. Uh, in fact, I don't think all of my photos were used because of the repetition I see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this, what's called duplicate spacing. Right now, this is set to three tiles. That means every three tiles, it can use the same picture again. I'm going to change this to 10. That's going to give me a lot more variability on which photos are used. Now, when I regenerate my mosaic, I end up with this picture, which looks, it looks like a lot more photos were used in my picture. I started out with this, ended up with this. Now I can increase the resolution. If I go back to my settings and go from 40 tiles, the next one up is 5,000 tiles. Uh, this will give me a lot more pictures that are used to create my composite. So I end up with a picture that looks like this. So I started with this higher resolution, gave me this picture. I could even bump that up to 10,000 if I wanted, and that would create a picture where I, I really start to see a final image that looks like my original main image. This is 10,000, here it is uh, 5,000, I'm sorry, this is my original, this was the 40 tiles up to 5,000 tiles, and finally 10,000 titles. That's my photo mosaic using Andrea Mosaic.